What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Today I've got something a little bit different for you. It's uh, gonna be more of a, you know, here's what's going on in Destiny for me personally. Uh, and the reason I wanted to do this was because there's some kind of off-topic things that I want to share with you guys. Stuff that wouldn't really make for a complete video on its own, but I definitely wanted to share them. So the first one is going to be Look at the gameplay. Uh, this is the Finale Spiral. Now, you guys know my skill level, right? I'm by far not the greatest uh, PvP player out there. I would consider myself average at best. Um, I finally got a decent roll on the Finalis Peril. Now, if you don't know about the Finalis Peril, it's a high impact, low rate of fire hand cannon. It's currently available from the Iron Banner. The Iron Banner vendor, Lord Saladin, actually has a pretty good roll on this, although not the best roll that you could attain. Um, and I am really enjoying this weapon. Uh, I've never been lucky enough to get a really god roll on the IS Luna. I've always kind of hoped for one, never gotten one. Uh, the nice thing about the Finale's Peril is that you can get a really good roll on it just by complete peating in the Iron Banner. Because the drop rate is so high in the Iron Banner, uh, the chances of you getting multiples of these and hopefully getting a, a decent roll on at least one of them is pretty high. And if you do compete up to... Uh, rank five in the Iron Banner, get a package, or I'm sorry, if you just buy it from the from Lord Saladin, the one that you can buy from Lord Saladin is pretty beastly, uh, but there are definitely better roles out there. So I'd, I'd recommend uh, playing some Iron Banner, kind of last chance for Iron Banner uh, as today is Monday. But um, if you haven't bought at least the vendor roll, I highly recommend at least buying the vendor roll. The gun is very fun. Uh, the one I'm using here has Icarus on it, which I love. I love Icarus, it's got Outlaw and Rifled Barrel. And it's really not been a bad roll. I've been having a lot of fun with this weapon, especially on my Hunter, where I tend to be much more uh, upwardly mobile. I tend to be vertical a lot more with my Hunter than with other classes. Uh, and I've been absolutely loving this game. I actually, unfortunately, didn't record the clip, but I actually got a collat with it yesterday. Yesterday was a weird day. I actually got three collats in one game session, uh, two with my sniper rifle and one with the Finalis Peril. It was a very odd day for uh, collaterals. Collaterals are not something that I see too often and having three of them in one day was just bizarre. Uh, but it's been a fun day. Uh, it's been a fun Iron Banner, I think. I, I wanted to talk about the Iron Banner a little bit too because initially when I joined the Iron Banner on Tuesday, I was, uh, I was concerned. I was seeing a lot of red bards. I was seeing some really piss poor connections. But over the last couple of days as I've been playing, I gotta tell you, this has been one of the more enjoyable Iron Banners for me. I've played with a full team and I've played solo. I played all day solo yesterday and I was getting some really good connections. Uh, I was finding that I was not seeing a whole lot of red bars. Every once in a while I'd see somebody warping around the screen with a red bar. But for the most part, I was getting some decent connections and I was able to just enjoy myself uh, and find that hit detection was working because the connections were good. Uh, so good on Bungie for making this Iron Banner pretty successful, in my opinion. Uh, whether you enjoy Clash or not, you know, that's something else. But connection-wise, I've been having a really good time with the Iron Banner this week. And because the rewards are so good, you know, the shotgun, I, I don't know if it's all that good. It's a found verdict-style shotgun. You can get a decent roll on it. I would imagine that it's more going to be useful in PvE. But even then... I think that a faster firing shotgun is really the best for PvE, and this thing is gonna let you down in PvP. Uh, it just doesn't have the impact to um, really kind of max out its its long range kill potential like a Party Crasher or a Conspiracy Theory D. Uh, so even though it is, it is capable of some really good rolls, in fact, the vendor roll is phenomenal, the fact is that the impact just isn't high enough to make it a really boss ass shotgun in pvp you could you could set it up for a pve shotgun but again i think that the the faster firing shotguns are just better for pv pve um i also wanted to talk about trials a little bit this week it was on frontier i like that map i have a lot of fun when it's on that map um as i've become a better sniper i'm by no means a good sniper but as i've gotten my skills to be uh what i would call better um i find that i enjoy the the longer sightline maps a little bit more pantheon frontier uh, and i've been having a pretty decent time on frontier with a shotgun 
And of all things, a Red Death. Uh, I've been using a Red Death a lot. Uh, this was actually a suggestion from one of my community members on Twitch. Is Check out that Red Death with high caliber rounds. Uh, it actually messes up snipers quite a bit. Uh, and, you know, obviously the intrinsic perk or the exotic perk on the Red Death does allow you to get your health back after a kill. And while I don't think it's top of the meta as far as time to kill goes, um, the fact that you do get your health back after a kill really does help. So if you can get your first shot off, if you can initiate the the combat, the the engagement with that first shot, you're often going to win your your engagement unless your your shots just are poor, you know, unless you really just can't aim. Um, but if you can get that first shot off, you can win the engagements most of the time. And because you get your health back right away, you're ready for that next engagement very quickly. And I found that to be pretty valuable in trials. Now, on a short range map, I don't know that I'd like the Red Death that much. But Frontier has a lot of longer range engagements. Uh, and running that thing as a secondary to either a shotgun or to a sniper rifle, I found to be pretty useful. Yes, I had to make sure that I didn't get within shotgun distance of anybody. I had to make sure that I was pulled back, that I had enough room to let a pulse rifle do its thing, especially a you know, somewhat slow time to kill pulse rifle. Uh, but I will say this, I enjoyed my time with it, and I'm going to explore it more. It, uh, the time to kill, like, let's not have any illusions. It's not that great. It's not going to compete with a Grasp of Malak or a Hawksaw, uh, but if this type of weapon ever gets buffed again, Red Death used to be my go-to weapon. Back last summer when the Trials of Osiris was new and the Thorn meta was a thing, Red Death was my weapon of choice because it was accurate, it was capable of a two-burst headshot kill, it counteracted Thorn's damage over time, it was just a really good weapon at the time, and it was one of the only counters you had to Thorn. But when it got nerfed, when it turned into a three burst headshot kill, you know, I put it by the wayside. The time to kill was just too slow on it. So I just kind of, I let it go. But, you know, recently I've been having quite a bit of fun with it, especially in the trials with Cyrus this weekend. Uh, so, you know, knowing that it's not top of the meta, knowing that it's, you know, you do have to get that first shot off before your opponent does to win an engagement. Um, knowing that you're going to get your health back after you win an engagement uh, does really set you up nicely for the next one and can surprise some enemies because people will say, you know, he's weak, he's weak, uh, and their friend will come around the corner not necessarily as prepared for an engagement as he should be, uh, and you end, up t you end up taking him out as well because, you know, you've got full health and he didn't realize that because his teammate just told him that, you know, you were, you were nearly dead. So that, that's a helpful thing. Um, you know, I don't think in the sweatiest of matches, it's not gonna replace my Doctrine or my new Finalis Peril, which I really fucking love. Um, or, you know, some of the other top of the meta weapons like the Last Word, but it does have its uses and hopefully it will get buffed. I'm, I'm wondering if there's going to be a weapon balancing uh, before the Rise of Iron comes out. I'm kind of hoping there is gonna be. I like when they rebalance the weapons, switch up the meta a little bit brings in weapons that I'm not used to using on a daily basis and uh, just switches up my game style a little bit or the, the weapons that I use in a, in a game a little bit. You know, we saw that with the Taken King. We saw a huge change up in the, in the meta, in the sandbox with the Taken King and I'm hoping that we're gonna see another one in Rise of Iron. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Uh, I do appreciate it. I know this was a little bit rambly. I just wanted to get some smaller topics off of my chest that weren't necessarily big enough for one long video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.